and I got reminded again of this imbalance a couple of days ago when Joey shared with me that over the past um, couple of videos she felt that there was an energy present in them that is not a representation of who I am. Cloudy day, very cozy feeling. We just finished our daily deep dive in the five biological laws. Every day we're sitting around 90 minutes aside for learning this like essential framework. And this led me to contemplating something. I just finished um, another round of push-ups almost two weeks ago. I made the I made the commitment to do around 300 push-ups a day and in conjunction with learning about the five biological laws and my essential biological needs as a human and especially as a man I'm connecting some dots what the five biological laws are saying is that deep down even though we have our crazily evolved brains deep down in our biology we are still this animals and as a man it's an essential need of my male body to do physically hard things each and every day for extended periods of time and if i'm not doing that if i'm not using like the full capacity of my of my of my of my physical bodies then i'm not doing what i'm here for as a man and when I look back into my last 10 years as an entrepreneur, there were many, many periods almost the whole time where I was sitting a lot and working a lot with my brain and not using my physical bodies as, as much as this vehicle would have needed it and as my whole being as a man would have needed it. And as a result, I think there was a certain kind of imbalance. And I got reminded again of this imbalance a couple of days ago when Joey shared with me that over the past um, couple of videos she felt that there was an energy present in them that is not a representation of who I am or how my regular day looks like but it's more like a, a more extreme version of me and this got me thinking of like it's absolutely my my desire to be as authentic as possible in these videos and to strive for this uh, setting of somebody watching these videos and then they get to know me in real life and they and say like oh wow Robert you are exactly how I thought you would be this is my north star and Joey said probably there's a dynamic at play right now that makes this impossible and I was really pondering that over the past couple of days and I have the feeling that through not using my body in a way that my biology needs it I was channeling this forceful penetrative maybe at times even aggressive male nature that my species had expressed for millions of years just by being physically active by hunting animals by running for long distances by lifting heavy objects by protecting by fighting that i channeled this into the more into the more mental realm when i make these videos
the result of this imbalance within my body I probably channeled this like aggressive dominant tense energy into the creation of these videos as an outlet which is a part of me a part of me that wants to be expressed and at the same time it's not like my full being and Joey said probably people watching this video get a glimpse get a, get a get a peek into a part of you that is not like the full spectrum but since on a physiological on a physiological level like this strenuous exhaustion um, caused by intense physical effort is not presence is not is not present enough this manifests in, in the videos as an as another outlet and I have the strong feeling that since I'm on this um, push-up challenge somehow I'm more playful and more light-hearted in the videos because I already fulfilled this need on a physical basis that afterwards another energy can flow. us to the to the skill of pattern recognition something that's very crucial if we want to make sense of the world and in our five biological laws exploration of today the teacher told the story of an influencer um, very very big on Instagram and she was suffering um, this chronic um, biological uh, disease and then she tried an alternative health mo modality she didn't she didn't say what it is like be it a meditation or be it a, uh, a new kind of uh, a diet or um, a practice or whatever it is she tried something new and then these symptoms went away and she concluded oh I changed this behavior and the symptoms went away that means they need to be directly like interlinked so she and, and like and, and, and in the aftermath she promoted this alternative health modality modality that she tried as the holy grail for health and uh, for the for being disease free and marketed marketed it but what in reality was playing out inside her body is that exactly during the time <laughs> when the chronic symptoms went away she was getting into a new relationship and her partner quickly proposed to her which for her biology meant ah oh, i could finally relax there is my place this is where i belong like for for the biology of a woman according to the five biological laws it's of utmost importance to know where is my place where is my territory where is my home which place can i nurture with my energy and in the moment a man says on a biological level do you want to be my territory for the biology of a woman it's like ah oh, relief because in this safe space children can can emerge and she will be able to express her nurturing quality and in truth her body as a result got rid of her chronic symptoms that were a direct consequence of this imbalance caused by not knowing where my place is and this had nothing to do with her alternative health modality, with her medicine, meditation or whatever she tried. It was just that her biology was finally honored. And this inspired me to talk about the skill of pattern recognition, of really realizing what is going on and what are the results of the things that are going on and what are just accidental byproducts what is a causality and what is just a correlation and it's our invitation to learn to discern which is which and to stop this short-sighted dynamic that is very present in our 
like alternative consciousness sphere that I'm guilty of as much as as everybody else to perceive something in your life and then to conclude that it must be because of this dietary change that we did or this treatment or this acupuncture or this whatever and then market it as the holy grail for eternal health while in reality it's so nuanced and so highly complex. Ooh, for the first time I dove into all the Custodia Pranor applications. The last days were so busy and although there was a part inside me that was like, oh my god, I'm so curious. Like, who are all the people who applied? I didn't do that over the past uh, three days since we opened now for the first time. And I'm very happy. Mm, so many powerful creators. So over the next couple of days, the schedule will be full. <laughs> Currently organizing all the appointments. Quite a stretch this week. Um, to bring everything together with the family and then the Custodia Preneurs launch and uh, connecting with all these people there and then of course doing next steps on our land projects and all the one-on-one -on uh, coachings and everything that's going on right now on a private level too and pff, it's a stretch it's a stretch and at the same time it feels like a beautiful stretch because all the things that are present in my life right now are deeply deeply meaningful and I get to grow in my capacity to hold this complexity each and every day and to be at this wow this looks like a scene from a from a horror movie Whoa. Welcome to our probably new private forest. <sighs> Wild. Wow. And now this is the moment where the monster is coming. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Just arrived back home, took a shower. Wow, that was an adventure. We spent around an hour on the beautiful piece of land that we <sighs> discovered yesterday. And like while the sun was setting and it was getting darker and darker, and then it started to rain, and we were hugging the trees and like immersing ourselves fully within this beautiful natural environment. Yeah. Mm. Mm. <sighs> One more thought to conclude today's topic. Like the more I'm diving into the five biological laws, the more I'm realizing how far we all are from really living in accordance with our biology. Like if we have a look at Maslow's hierarchy of needs, how can we even think about that? top level needs like self-realization and contribution and ascension to the higher realms and so on if we are not even fulfilling our most basic needs like living a life that is in connection with the elements and like having real community having real belonging and having this deep sense of safety that comes by living in our in our biology like living a life as men that is physically strenuous where we are asked to work with our physical bodies each and every day and if we don't have this in our lives we develop all sorts of coping mechanisms where this energy flows but it's probably not in, a, in the most aligned way so i'm committed to deepen my quest of exploring the five biological laws and living a life in accordance with the human being that I am. Let's get settling in a place like the one that is really like raw and powerful and where the elements are really strong. It's 
time to connect with the earth again being barefoot as much as possible mm. I feel great it was a beautiful day I feel powerful I feel connected I feel strong looking forward to see you tomorrow bye bye